Hey guys, David here, and I have some news that shows just how much power we've given over to corporations. So a United Airlines passenger was dragged off a plane because the plane was overbooked. Check it out. Now before we get to my thoughts on this, this is what United Airlines had to say. Flight 3411 from Chicago to Louisville was overbooked. After our team looked for volunteers, one customer refused to leave the aircraft voluntarily, and law enforcement was asked to come to the gate. We apologize for the overbooked situation. Now what United Airlines doesn't tell you is that the passenger was a doctor, who was expected to arrive in a Louisville hospital the next morning to see patients. Now amazingly, it's completely legal for an airline to forcibly remove a passenger from a plane, even if the reason is because they screwed up by overbooking that plane. But that's just the thing, they didn't really screw up. Airlines do this all the time. When you buy a ticket and pick your seat, that doesn't mean you have a seat. They reserve the right to kick you out of that seat for whatever reason they choose, legitimate or not. And they purposely overbook planes so they can maximize profits. So airlines do this in case the passenger decides to cancel their flight last minute, so the plane can still be filled. So essentially, the airline's revenue is increased directly at the expense of delaying customers. Customers who may suffer lost wages from missing work, or lose a day of vacation at a resort they already paid for, or missing an important family get-together. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter, because the law is in the favor of the airline's right to make money over the rights of the individuals. This is completely legal. And really, this is just another example of how our governments have given corporations more rights than the average person. And why do large corporations have this sort of power over our government? Well, just think. Who gives politicians large sums of money during campaigns? Large corporations. And why do they give that money? Out of the goodness of their heart? Yeah, no. They do it because it gives them influence over policymaking, so that politicians will enact policy that will best serve their large donors. 